Some people reduce cancer to a journey or a colour or a ribbon. Use those words within earshot of our next guest at your own peril. This is Lou Munnock. I first met Connie through her scamp of a brother, Sammy. Me and Con clicked as only two women who are mothers and who are dying can do. We laughed about recyclable coffins and shared what we hated about cancer and what it turned us into. Constance Ann Johnson was a woman who desperately wanted to cuddle her sons as they reached manhood. We talked about what it meant to be called a hero, a warrior, and a battler. She hated the overuse of those words when it came to cancer. They have a way of making us feel inadequate, less than human, guilty, and angry. You see, a hero vanquishes the dragon saves the weak and oppressed. But in the cancer ward, the patients wait for the poison to enter their body and hope that this time it won't be as bad as the first time. A warrior wears armor and has a whole arsenal of weapons. Cancer patients don't have any armor, just family and friends to shield them. And a battler is someone who gets up and keeps going. We keep going until we can't. Then, really, we just often want relief from the pain, the fatigue, and the overwhelming sadness that our life is slipping past us. We don't feel like warriors. I want to talk about the Connie we didn't see, the Connie that was angry. Sure, she was lots of lovely other things that made her the complicated, intelligent, irreverent human being that she was. But living with the indignity of terminal cancer isn't surviving, it's existing. Make no mistake, she was in pain, she was conflicted, and she was angry, and it kept us going. Our relationship was defined by texts and by late night calls when she had retreated to the bath to ease the pain, or I just wanted to bitch when I couldn't sleep due to chemo side effects. We would share ideas about dying, because no one lets you talk about dying when you're incurable. It's always you'll beat this, or you're a fighter. No, we're dying, and it's fucking lonely. People talk a lot of shit about how anger is bad for you. I think anger is good. I think it's respectful. I think anger is the best response to something like this. I'm so angry I can't see straight. Are you angry too? Yes? yes. yes. Are you angry as much as necessary? Are you angry enough? I look out at all of you and I know that you've given more than, they, you have given what you can. Any time we've asked, you've given. But I also know that there are people out there who aren't angry and have more than our spare change that could make a difference to the way research in cancer goes. I'm sick of the bullshit. Why is Connie dead? And why have I been to five funerals in five years from breast cancer? And why am I still dying? Sammy says he wants to vanquish cancer. 
How do we help him? We help him by going out and hitting up everybody who's not angry yet, and we say, give us some fucking money because it's unacceptable. It is unacceptable that mothers are making sad videos to say their goodbyes to their sons and their daughters, their families and their friends. Let's make up our collective minds as Connie's Village to translate this anger into finding new and better ways to throw money at cancer research to make this right. I am too fucking angry to let everything Connie built, suffered, and lived through be for nothing. I'm going to rage, I'm going to badger, I'm going to pester, I'm going to annoy every person I can think of who could give us money. I'm probably going to offend some people. <laughs> and I may make myself universally disliked. I don't care. And I want you not to care either. Be fierce, be tough, be offended, and be angry. Connie, my friend, my love and my anger is for you for each and every day that I'm still alive from this point forward. Thank you. Thank you.